What's up everyone, Elijah here, and let me welcome you to another video produced by Financial Anatomy, the place where you can take control of your financial destiny. On this channel, we talk about side hustles, ways to make money online, personal finance, and investing. Occasionally, we cover apps that involve money in some form, and that's what we're doing in this video because we're talking about M1 Finance. Most of y'all are familiar with M1 Finance. It's an investing platform known for its autonomous features. And that's what we're gonna be talking about in this video, autonomy. So M1 Finance gives you the, as of the time of this video, it's actually kind of unique, but it gives you the ability to have investing be as autonomous as possible and in a way as diversified as you want. Exactly what do I mean by that? Well, if y'all seen my other videos, which will be linked in the description below, as far as M1 Finance, then you'll know that M1 Finance has the ability to uh, take the money you invest in it and split it up among various stocks or index funds or ETFs, whatever you have in your particular portfolio or pie. In addition to that, you can arrange the percentages so that everything stays in the balance that you want. 20, 30, 40, etc. If you're not familiar with that, you can check this video out on the screen. Assuming you are familiar with that, how do you set it up so that investing can be truly autonomous? Because you can do that with M1 Finance. The trick to making investing truly autonomous using M1 Finance is to do this trick. And if you do this, then it's gonna be pretty much the same as when uh, your employer pulls money out for your 401k. You can have it set up like that in a very similar way. So what you wanna do is you wanna have auto invest on. And once auto invest is on, you wanna set up reoccurring transfers into your M1 Finance account. And uh, just an accounting trick, most Americans spend money very fast and that's part of the reason they really like a 401k is because the money is kind of pulled before you get your paycheck. Well, you can actually produce something like that on your own. All you got to do is set up the reoccurring transfers to land on the day or days of the week that you get paid. It's just simple as that. So let's say you get paid bi-weekly. So every Friday you get a paycheck. Well, then you set up a reoccurring transfer on every other Friday in M1 Finance, and then M1 Finance is gonna pull that money out on that day. What that effectively does is it pulls that money that you have budgeted to invest, and it automatically does it. Because as soon as the money hits the account, if you have auto invest on, it's split up among your portfolio. So we're actually gonna go to the M1 Finance app, and I'm gonna show you how to uh, set this up, because I'm gonna set some up uh, for myself. And I'll also address a few questions you may have about the process. So let's go over to the M1 Finance app. So first, we want to open the M1 Finance app up. Then you enter your PIN number. I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And we are going to set up a reoccurring transfer. So in order to do that, first we want to slide this bar up. Then we want to click the deposit button. From here, we can set up a reoccurring transfer. So for me, I'm going to set up a reoccurring transfer to happen every Thursday of $100. You wanna make sure that the right bank is selected and the right M1 Finance account is selected if you do have multiple accounts. Everything is already selected fine for me, so I'm just gonna enter the transfer amount, which is gonna be $100. And I'm gonna click on switch to a reoccurring transfer. Now it's gonna ask me what frequency do I want this recurring transfer to happen in. I'm going to click weekly, and it's gonna ask me the day of the week. I'm going to click Thursday. Of course, you can pick whatever day works for you. I recommend that you pick your payday, and if your payday is bi-weekly, then you can switch this to bi-weekly. The idea is to have the money coming out on the same day that you get paid. Then I hit schedule. I'm gonna hit confirm schedule. Confirming, boom, it says your weekly schedule for you know my account has been created. If you want any details of the schedule, you can always click on view details. It'll just let you know exactly uh, what you set up. To verify if you set this up correctly, you can click on transfers, and then just come over here to the rules tab, and it lets you know what schedules you've set up. As we can see, I have a schedule set up to move money every Thursday, $100, to my M1 Finance brokerage account 
from there, it's going to get automatically split up, split up among my investment portfolio. If at any point you want to pause this recurring setup, you can click on it and just hit the button that says enable schedule. That means that it's going to be disabled. And if you hit it again, enable schedule, it's going to enable it. We're going to leave it off for a moment just so you can see this. See how it says it's paused. That means it's not going to pull any money from your bank account until you re-able it. Then hit re-able and it's back to doing what it's supposed to do. If at any point you want to delete this reoccurring transfer setup, you can just click edit. And in the top right hand corner, you have the option to delete it. I don't want to delete it because I want that money deposited in the account, but this is just so you know how to do so. Alternatively, you can set up a reoccurring transfer this way. You can click on transfers, click on move money, and then click reoccurring transfer. This will give you the ability to create a reoccurring transfer like we just did, and it will ultimately take you to the same place. The only difference is your bank and your M1 Finance account won't automatically be selected, so you need to input them in, which is pretty simple. And there we have it, folks. You now know how to make investing autonomous with the M1 Finance platform. This is part of the reason it's my uh, favorite investing platform up to this day. Nothing's been able to top it so far. But if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below as well as consider subscribing if you're new because I'll be dropping more content when it comes to investing and M1 Finance. And if you found value in the video, a thumbs up is very much appreciated. If you're interested in signing up for M1 Finance, you can do so using the link in the description or the pinned comment. Full disclosure, that's an affiliate link. It goes towards supporting the channel. They usually have a sign-on bonus between $5 and $30, so you can check that out. Maybe there's some uh, money in it for you also. That does it for this video. Don't forget to get out there and take control of your financial destiny.